Joe, uh, I'll start at the end. The little skirmish that broke out with about a minute to go. Jason just pops right up. Looks like he just wanted to get out of it and you know shoot his free throws. What do you see in that moment and just sort of his mindset and approach throughout this game? Uh, yeah, his mindset and approach throughout the game was great. I thought he played with great patience. I thought he picked and chose his spots very well. I thought he um, took what the defense gave him and found the balance of uh, creating for himself and for others. So the fight for that discipline uh, on the offensive end uh, on both ends of the floor really is a, is a huge key to this series. And the team's overall approach, you talked a lot about managing runs, you know, the margins, things like that coming into the series, but also dealing with their physicality and some of the ways they might try to get under your skin. How do you feel like the team as a whole handled those things tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there was a four or five minute stretch where we didn't handle it well, but I thought for the other 42, 43 minutes, um, you know, that's about, uh, that's the recipe. Uh, so, you know, the balance is having the humility to do it even better. So 11 turnovers, got them on the sharp margin, didn't foul and uh, held them to five offensive rebounds. So um, the adjustment is do it better, do it uh, with more physicality, and you got to be ready to do that. Uh, Drew, going up against Tyler Hero, Hero's coming off of this huge game, and Drew seemed to take him out of any type of rhythm, just getting his hands in the pockets, being physical, just how good was Drew defensively? Yeah, he was very solid. Uh, that's, you know, Drew's ability to uh, just stick to a game plan, but at the same time use his instincts. Uh, is huge for us, and so he did a great job on that throughout the game, staying with him and uh, making it difficult. And uh, you know, we need him to continue to do that. So, uh, got off to a great start defensively with his effort. Joe, all season you've talked about 25 point quarters. You guys started 21, 24, 14. How much going into the series were you talking about the importance of that intensity and activity on defense, and how pleased were you through the first three? Yeah, I mean, it's just the process. You know, those are uh, just a, a range of numbers, and it's just the process uh, how to get those. So keeping teams out of transition, keeping them off the glass, keeping them off the free throw line, having good offensive execution. So um, again, it's about doing the most simple things under higher duress, and uh, that's the key to winning. At times this year, you've talked about certain guys being not okay with them making shots, but sort of the balance of closing out on certain guys. That 35-point quarter at the end, how much do you think was that, and how much do you think was you guys letting go of the rope? Uh, well, we had four turnovers and had seven in the fourth quarter, so I would say they, the points off turnovers came with that, six points on off-ball on off ball defense communication, and then some of them, they made some shots there. So uh, I would say 70-30, we can control. Joe, sure, how do you think you dealt with their runs? They kept kind of hanging around the first three quarters. And Hawkins got that uncontested layup, I think, kind of keep you, you guys asleep to cut it to 12, and you guys just kind of went on a run. How do you think you guys handled their kind of constant coming at you? Yeah, I mean, that's going to happen. So, you know, if you, go, if you look at a game and you're like, okay, 21, 24, 14, you're, you're expecting uh, somewhere between a, 30, a 28 and a 32 point. So, like I said, 70 to 30, we can control that. But I thought we kept a level of poise. And uh, even after some of those runs, just getting to our space, you can always tell if you manage to run well by the shots you take at the other end. And I thought we took really good shots even through, uh, throughout most of that run. Uh, you know, we come out of a timeout, Derek hits a three. Um, Al hits a three, and, and uh, I think we got a layup that we missed, you know, which is uh, it's good, just good execution, just didn't make it. So, uh, to me, managing runs has to do with just uh, just figuring out what, where it's at defensively and then fighting for the good shot on offense. So I thought we did that pretty well. How well did you guys focus on the game plan? Obviously, defensively, you guys were just seemed like locked in, just focused on the goal at hand and not the opponent. What do you mean? How did you guys focus? How well did you focus on the game plan? Uh, I mean, a lot all day yesterday. Uh, and so I thought the guys did a tremendous job staying with the game plan. Um, there was some minor adjustment there, uh, some things that we have to do better, but I think that's the balance, right, is understanding that we played relatively well, but we have to be better uh, because we know they're going to play better. Justin. Joe, what did you make of the impact of Sam and Peyton specifically in the first half? Uh, I would say the bench in general. Um, that's been the identity of our team all year, so you can't get into a playoff and uh, you know, shut those guys out. Uh, you got to give them their run because uh, they just bring a different dynamic to the game. And uh, even the guys, some of the guys that didn't play have to be ready. Uh, it's only one game every uh, series takes on a life of its own. Uh, but we need our bench, we need our depth in order uh, to maximize this opportunity that we have. They did a great job. Coach, how big was Sam Hauser in sparking the three-point attack? Yeah, I mean, I think that was, uh, again, uh, every, everything's connected. So I thought Jason's poise and ability uh, to make plays came because of our spacing and because of Sam Payton and those guys shot making and so uh, we handled those zone a little bit differently and uh, they were forced into some two on ones and we made the right play and uh, you know so it's a credit to our passing it's a credit to their playmaking and uh, that just shows you that uh, how each guy kind of has an impact on the next guy. Last couple questions, Darren, then Duke. 
Uh, Sam had that game where he missed a ton of shots like a couple weeks ago, and then he misses those first two threes against the zone, and they're making that comeback. Hits four in a row. Just how has his poise been, and how have you seen him grow? Same with like Peyton, like these bench guys that they miss a couple shots in the playoffs, they might just shut down, but they're not shutting down. Yeah, I mean that's you can't get to the percentage that you have unless you shoot them. And uh, you know, I texted him after the one for eighteen game and, and said the ultimate compliment is you got to miss twelve threes in an NBA game. That's just that's a, that's a huge positive. You have to look at that that way. And so we need those guys to be effective. But I, I think the shooting. Uh, is easy to pay attention to, but both those guys defensively were really, really solid. Uh, and that's been the difference, I think, in both those guys throughout the years. Their ability to impact the game defensively is just as important as their shooting, and uh, that's a huge strength of ours. Last question, Duke. Joe, when Jason felt, looked like he hit his hip and his head, what were you thinking as he was going down? I know uh, Boston was probably collective side right there. Have you spoken to him? He did look like he hit his head a little bit. Uh, I was just thinking, I was waiting to see what he was going to do. I was kind of excited about the whole situation. So I was just, I enjoyed watching it. Uh, what about uh, in terms of how he feels? He's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thanks.